All right, what's going on everybody? Coach Malik here. What I'm gonna go over today is just some rotator cuff exercises, whether you're coming off an injury or you're just trying to strengthen your rotator cuff because you've had an injury before. So the first exercise, super simple, just arm circles, guys. Simple as can be. You can do 10 this way, 10 small, 10 big, right? It's real simple. This is like step one, and then backwards, and then backwards. Now, if you feel pain doing that, go see a doctor, you might need surgery. Uh, but if you feel pain doing that, you shouldn't be doing any weight loading. You should just literally just be trying to move the shoulder, maybe do some myofascial release with a lacrosse ball. But if this is hurting, you probably have to go see a doctor. <laughs> Second exercise, if that's good, are rear flies with the band. So rear flies with the band, you just grab right here, about six inches apart with the red band. If it's a heavier band, obviously maybe a little bit more apart, but the red band's pretty light. So six inches, pulling it to my upper chest, again, right above my nipple line, and I'm squeezing, I'm squeezing the back of my shoulders. Squeezing, controlling on the way back down. Pulling, squeezing, controlling on the way back down. Now another good one to do are external rotations. Now this can depend if this might hurt you, uh, hurt your shoulder or not, but I love doing these. This really helped me strengthen my shoulder. Again, when I'm hurting it during the bench press, but when I hurt it in high school as well. You're just standing here, you want your palm, you want your knuckles to be facing exactly in line with where this band's coming from. You don't want to be way out here, you know, where the band's all like, Different. You want the band to be straight, you want your knuckles to be facing towards the band. From here, you're just going to rotate out. Again, work on that rear shoulder, the back shoulder, coming back. Out, hold, control back. Out. So I'll do about eight. Switch. Eight. Again, my knuckles are facing towards where the band's coming in line. Boom. The good one is internal rotation. So it's the same exact thing. Again, you want to make sure your knuckles are going towards the band, right? So even on this one, you're not way out here where the band's going at 90 degrees. You want to stay in line with the band and your knuckles. So knuckles in line. Now I'm just coming in. It, usually this is a little bit stronger than your out, out turn one. So you can kind of take a step back, make it a little bit more harder, make it a little bit more resistance. Boom. Again, eight that side, knuckles facing. Eight that side. All right, and the last one is a little bit more advanced. If you could do this, if your core is stable enough, are Y's, T's, Y's, and I's on the Swiss ball. So you come here, you're going to make a T. Now when I make a T, I want to focus on my pinkies facing the ceiling. So pinkies facing the ceiling in here, and on my Y's, index fingers, and then on my eyes, thumbs. So here, Y's, T's, Y's, I's. Y's, T's, Y's, Y's. Those are another great ones to do for rotator cuff exercises. Try those out. Let me know how you like those in the comments down below.